Hey guys, thanks for coming back for episode two of the Beta 300RR Race Edition uh, first look video. Um, sorry that I ended up making these so long, but I think it's pretty important to show all the things we're doing. Uh, I just want to bring you guys into all of it like I did with the 23XC. Uh, people seem to really like that. So let me know what you think in the comments below about these two videos so far. Um, and also let me know what you else you want me to talk about or test or film or whatever on this beta. Um, make sure you comment that stuff below, all those suggestions, questions, things like that. Um, I definitely will take them all into consideration and do my best to cover all of it. So uh, anyway, we're going to pick up where we left off. We got the back end of the bike done and now we're moving forward. So here we go. <laughs> All right, guys, so got the back end of the bike all taken care of. Super happy about that. Now we're going to go through and grease all of the electrical connections. Um, everybody keeps telling me I need to do that. I think I agree. Uh, it's a good idea on any bike, but uh, betas are known to have a little bit wonkier uh, electric, electrical connections. Uh, so I'm going to go through, got some dielectric grease and hit every little piece on it so that it's all good, all happy. Uh, we won't have any problems down the road. I'm not gonna show you the intricacies of me doing that, um, but that is what's happening now. All right, guys, there's uh, Garrett's here, owner of the super fat Sherco. That everybody... She's thick. <laughs> She's thick with three C's. Everybody's been talking about online. Um, let me show you a couple things we're doing here. So I've greased, dielectric grease, all the connections everywhere, they're di everything. Everything's got dielectric grease on it, even the solenoid connector right there. Um, and then I put normal buttons on it. So we've got a uh, start, which actually will go over on the left and kill that are just normal buttons. We're getting rid of the giant dumb, these things, because they're stupid. Uh, and I did the headlight jumper from Fox and Daryl. Thank you very much for that to delete all that crap. So the headlight will just be on while the bike's running and that's just fine with me. I don't mind that at all. And we installed the Spartan MX headlight. Really excited about this, trying this thing out. I think it's a four, eight, like four or eight billion lumens. I don't know. It's a lot of lumens. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy bright. Super stoked about that. Uh, the next thing guys that we're gonna do is get our Mako 360 on here. Cause while I wanna ride it stock, I don't wanna ride it without my Mako 360. So. Uh, it is still going to be stock height, bar height, because we got the cool Jarvis uh, dually for it. Um, but I'll set you down. And I actually forgot, uh, before I do the Mako, um, I forgot I need to check the steering head bearings, make sure they're greased. And you can see that they are very well greased there. Let's check up here. Uh, those could maybe use a little bit. So we'll pack some grease in there. Uh, but those really do look pretty darn good. So. Super happy about that. Also gonna put the moose balls in the front tire. So I'm gonna do that, get this all back together, and then I'll put the Mako on. And guys, I am gonna run stock bars just so I can speak to them. Uh, I mean, I know I'm not running the stock mounts, but um, I do wanna at least have some experience with the stock bar even though I'm pretty sure I'm going to want uh, <clears throat> my normal bars back on it. But we'll run for a little bit anyway. Huge thanks to Lance and Lisa for the titanium bolts. <laughs> Freaking sweet. There we go, guys. Mako mounted up and looking so, so sexy. <laughs> thank you, Lance. Thank you, thank you. Uh, guys, got to mention real fast, uh, Spartan MX, they make these lights for lots of bikes, not just Beta. Um, they're really, really slick, and they come with the, send a dashboard for it. Uh, but I want to run this because I don't want to lose my Speedo. Uh, I don't care about my speed. I just don't want to lose the hour meter that's tied to that. So. Um, we may change that out later, uh, so stay tuned for that. It's a pretty cool little dash, but I, yeah, I think I want to run minimalist on this right now. Like, like, I guess that's not minimalist. The other one's more minimalist because it's just a light switch, but um, yeah, I want to do this for right now. So um, now let's put moose balls in the front tire and we'll put this thing on. I'm almost going to mount up my switches up on the bars and get that done. And I'll bring you back in for the next thing. 
All right, guys, we're making progress. We got our Molecule Motorsports uh, handguards on. Uh, pretty excited about those. They're um, big, gnarly, heavy, burly handguards. I'm excited. I do not have my bar ends yet. I'm waiting for uh, Rick Emerson to send me some G-Rip bar ends, which I really, really like uh, for the end of the bars to protect uh, the grip and the throttle tube and all that stuff. So waiting on those. Those will be here soon. Um, uh, I got the carburetor jetted. Uh, I'm running with the jetting or close to the same jetting as my good friend Lane, the Arkansas Assassin, who works really, really well. I've got a 158 main jet, a 40 pilot, and the NECJ needle in the number two position. So uh, we'll see how that runs. It should run perfectly because that's how Lane's is jetted and yeah, should be great. Um, let's see what else did I do with well, the camera's off. I don't know. That's about it. Now, um, guys, I'm going to go over and install a Spanish fly spark arrestor. Uh, I'm going to go install that thing and then I'll put it back on here and then we'll keep going with this bike. Hey guys, so uh, real quick, uh, my actual camera is, I'm charging up the mic. Anyway, real fast, I want to show you what the Spanish fly spark arrestor looks like. Guys, this is the new Gen 2. It's 150 grams lighter. It is noticeably lighter holding it. Really nice. Um, also, I cut this down to make it a little bit shorter, not way short. Um, these things are super easy to install. Um, instructions are great. I've got a couple other videos. Highly recommend this spark arrestor because it allows you to keep the stock pipe, stock performance, um, but still have a turbine core without the screen so it doesn't clog up. So I'm gonna finish installing this thing, uh, put it on the bike and we'll keep on moving. All right, guys, we are done for now. We gotta take this motorcycle for a ride. Um, I, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't film everything tight, but that's okay. We're gonna go back over all the things that we have done today. Uh, I'm gonna go tip to tail as we do. Um, so start with moose balls in the front tire. That is the stock front tire though. Uh, we uh, greased steering head bearings. Only the top one really needed it. The bottom was really, really greasy and good. We put the Spartan MX headlight in. Uh, we left, uh, we used the Fox Enduro uh, jumper wire behind there to just so it's always on. Uh, I do have a dashboard. I'll try that out, but I don't want to lose that dash. So I got to figure out if that's going to work. Um, probably the biggest thing we did today was put the Mako 360 on. Purple polymers, orange shark bite. That's my personal preference. We've got the Molecule Motorsports uh, handguards. Burly, really strong handguards. Really excited about these. Um, thank you very much. And again, I have to say a huge thank you to all the people who gave me parts for this. Um, basically everything I'm talking about was given to me. Please use the links in the description to buy things. Um, these people have supported me like crazy. Rocky Mountain ATV is the biggest supporter of the channel. So please, please, please use the links in the description. It really makes a big difference. Um, but back, back to it. Um, so Molecule Motorsports handguards, these things are good. I like them. Waiting on G-Rip bar ends to protect that. We did our... Bulletproof Designs, radiator guards, best in the business, hands down. Won't use anybody else's radiator guards. Uh, run the stock foot pegs for now. Uh, stock brake pedal. We do have the Molecule Motorsports uh, skid plate. That thing is really nice uh, with the linkage guard. Really nice linkage guard. It's got this cool kind of like shock absorber deal here. Uh, I like that a lot. Installed Spanish Fly Gen 2. Uh, spark arrestor and cut this down. It looks, I don't know about you guys, but I think that looks way better than stock. Really super happy with how that turned out. Uh, we got uh, Bulletproof Designs rear uh, disc guard and caliper guard. Looks great. Uh, we've got moose balls in the back. Massive thank you to Intech. We're running the stock gearing right now because I want you guys to hear me talk about what this thing is actually stock. We got stock gearing, which is 1448. I uh, didn't mention this before, but I'm really impressed. This is plastic. I hear that these do break, but at least it's not metal and it won't bend. So I like that a lot. Uh, we've got the True North Motos <clears throat> extender for the foot. So this thing doesn't lean over too far. That's really nice. We greased the link. Actually, we took apart the linkage and the swing arm, but did not have to add any grease. This thing is the best greased machine I have ever, ever worked with, period. Um, you guys saw the two spark head, got that, showed you guys that. Um, it's, I really do think it's more snake oil than anything. I don't honestly think it's going to be a big difference. I think all these people saying, oh, the bike runs, 24s run so much smoother. Dude, it's because it's a new bike. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. 
we'll see. Um, <laughs> I think it's normal. Uh, we jetted the carburetor we, with the NECJ needle and uh, 40 pilot, which is one up, and then a 158 main, which is down quite a bit. So 165 is stock. Um, oh, buttons. We put, we got a start button here, kill button over here. I got a, for the OCD people, we'll try to square that up. But so yeah, kills over here, starts over here, deleted all that junk that was there. Uh, put the Samco hose, got rid of the thermostat. Really happy about that. Uh, clean that up a bunch. There's my son, Thomas <laughs> and Colt. With <laughs> and of course he's got a monster. Um, and I think that is about it. Everybody, there's old Mace, old Mace. Um, that's about all we've done, all, all we've done. Um, so pretty cool. Let me show you guys though. I want to, this is a first look video. It's a long one. I know you guys have been here a long time. Thank you guys for sticking around, but let me show you what else, uh, came with the bike. Actually very impressed with beta on this. I think, um, they are winning the, what comes with your motorcycle game. So this, by the way, did not come with it, but I ordered it um, and I'm going to be installing this in the uh, future video. This is a kickstart kit. Uh, it came with liquid Molly uh, engine oil, motor oil. Um, it is full of transmission oil, so um, but they just give you an extra bottle, which is cool. And then liquid Molly two stroke oil. I won't be using that. I'm using Motor X 40 to one. Uh, this is the special tool to get the rear spark plug out. This is an OBD port. Um, adapter for diagnostic. I don't know what you need on a carbureted bike for that. It comes with a different power valve spring setup so you can change the way the power valve opens. Um, this is a flash drive with all of the manuals. It's got uh, manual and stuff on it. Flash drive, that's pretty cool. Hand guards that I'm definitely not using. In fact, if anybody wants these hand guards, uh, email me morgan at highland-cycles.com. They're uninstalled, you can have them. Uh, first come, first serve. Uh, wheel stickers. I'm not going to put these on because I'm going to be putting moose ball stickers on there uh, to represent those guys, but they're cool. Um, and then a toolkit. What a novel idea. Let's see what's in here. Spark plug wrench, axle wrench, maybe? That's uh, not an axle wrench, That's, but spark plug wrench and multi wrench, I should say. Lots of things. Um, Allen style thing for other you know other tools it's got sockets whatever it was it got on there an eight and a ten and a torx a pair of pliers phillips said screwdriver a 13 and a 10 wrench and some allens uh it's not a lot but that's awesome that's way better than ktm so thank you guys very much for that i appreciate that um also guys just so you know these bikes are a lot less money than a KTM. Uh, they're 10399. Um, if you know the right dealer, then you'll get it kind of out the door for that. We're pretty close. So um, I'm actually fortunate. Dan gave me a smoking deal. Um, yeah, guys. Uh, now uh, let me just show you real quick a couple other things that uh, we're going to be installing. First of all, those are coming with new graphics very soon. We've got Enduro Hog um, engine covers. We've got a DDC racing sprocket. We've got a fan kit. We have Carapax foot pegs, five down, 10 back. Uh, 52 tooth rear sprocket. Uh, ooh, this is super cool guys. Uh, Roost Concepts, the mullet. It's a quick draw uh, moto license plate holder. Um, so I can get my license. I'm going to get this thing street legal. i uh, be able to put the license plate on, but yank it off really fast. Um, and I think that is about it uh, for right now. Um, oh, no. I have a few more things from Spartan MX S3. Anyway, stick around, guys. Uh, there's lots and lots and lots more content coming on this thing. Now I'm going to go see how this jetting is. <laughs> Yeah.
guys the bike is running perfectly uh, that jetting seems to be right on the money it's a 40 pilot 158 main NECJ needle in the number two position uh, I live at about 5700 feet uh, everything is up from here so that should be really good for a lot of places oh real quick just to show you I got the map switches over here uh, right now I'm waiting on Dan North uh, from True North Motos to send me the the cool guy thing, he's got to relocate that. But for now, that's gonna work just fine. Um, also, real quick, just added these. Um, these clickers, they're from, uh, what are they from? Costa Special Parts, I got them from Langs Off-Road in Canada. Uh, these things are sweet, so you can actually click these without, because the bars are in the way of the, anyway. Really slick, and you can still get to the bleed screw. Anyway, it's really cool. Excited to have those on there, and they look, awesome because they're blue so that's rad guys i am super excited about this bike uh this is going to be a good review because i'm honestly uh pretty biased against beta in general so it's kind of crazy that i bought one but i'm really excited to try something new and if i like this bike it means that it's really really good um so far it's running great i'm going to learn how to work on the uh, computer i definitely don't want to get rid of it because it actually shows you battery voltage and all kinds of stuff so pretty slick uh really excited thank you guys for joining me make sure you subscribe to the channel guys this is going to be um a heavily uh, contented filmed whatever bike uh there's gonna be tons and tons coming out on this thing so if you want to learn about it stick with us we'll see you on the next one